Hi guys, making some coffee now. I'm in a pretty good mood today because this morning I went to the uh, Ayuntamiento. It's like the city hall, but not city hall. It's like in every district there is one. I was there for my um, empatronamiento. Empatronamiento, right? I think this is what it's called. I need this document that registers where I live so that I can go extend my residence card. So when I was there asking for this empadronamiento, the guy who worked at the counter said to me, hablas muy bien castellano. And that made my day. I'm like, really? Thank you. He said, yes, hablas muy bien. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm not the kind of person who give myself a lot of credit before I think I've done well enough. But anyway, it's always nice to hear something like that. It's raining here. I'm very excited because Madrid is a place that barely rains. It only rains in winter, which is quite annoying. So today I want to do a study with me video. because whenever it rains, it makes me feel so calm and I tend to be more focused and concentrated on oh my god, that was enlightening, did you see that? So lately, I've been uh, reading this textbook called Aula Maybe you guys have heard of it, it's quite classic, I think but sadly, our school doesn't use it I managed to download previous edition of this book just to i mean just out of curiosity i want to find out because i've heard some pretty good um review about this book and it turned out that it's really good the reason why i like it a lot better than the book than the prisma book that we use is because i think everything here in this book it's super practical these are the scenes that you actually encounter in daily life and these are the things that you actually say in daily life compared to the book that we have so anyway my point is if you ever gonna study spanish consider aula i think it's a really good textbook rain stopped so i'm taking a walk outside the air is fresh but i gotta say it's kind of chilly I try to take a walk or jog in the park a little bit every day just to um, maintain my mental health even if I would really love to meet friends and hang out with new people right now it's just not likely in Madrid because the situation here just gets worse each day it's like the government has given up on on the situation and on people so the best strategy is to probably is to just stay at home uh, and wait until things get better to go back to my normal social life oh, the cloud is beautiful books arrived today I got daily B2 books just for exercise I'm not taking any daily exam this year but I am thinking about taking the daily exam next year maybe in summer I'm gonna take daily C1 instead of B2 because I already took the CLE test um, this year and I got a B2 in CLE so that would be enough for me that being said I mean the CLE test is an official Spanish level test but for me, I don't think it's that 
official because that's really the most unofficial official test I've ever taken. I've had TOEFL test before, I've had GRE before, but for these exams, it was super strict. In the test center, there were lockers for you to put your bags, your phone, and you were not allowed to take anything with you into that exam room. But the silly test, I tell you guys, I arrived um, 10 minutes earlier and there was only that that was a really really small school with only one or two classrooms I think there was a receptionist I told her I was there for the CLA test I think she did check my ID did she I think she did but anyway uh, the point is so she led me to that test room and I saw a laptop sitting on the desk and there was nobody there in the room and I asked her where should I put my bag she said oh you can just leave the bag with you inside and and I can also use my phone <gasps> in that exam room um I mean I'm not implying anything here but if I had taken any material at all that could help with my exam I mean if you guys are interested in that, I will do a separate video. But anyway, the reason why I'm buying B2 books is because I think I still, like, I've got a lot to improve on B2 level. Even if I want to take the C1 exam, I don't think, I don't want to start with doing the exercises with the C1 book because I think I can learn a lot from this B2 exercise book and I get to familiarize myself with what the test is like and I want to do like really intensive listening and I want to practice speaking with the topics of the daily speaking test. Hey guys, so it feels like a real Sunday night now because from tomorrow, I'll be start taking online courses with Don Quixote, my language school. I've had a rather long pause because when the lockdown took place in March, the school was saying that they could push off all the courses that we have till whenever we want to resume the class. I've been waiting for this day when I can go back to school and have face-to-face -face classes. I don't think online classes work as well as um, classes in real person, especially for language classes. But the thing is, I don't see the situation getting any better this year here in Madrid. It's only getting worse. So that's why I've decided that I'll just try their online courses. I heard from my classmates that online courses were not as good as face-to-face -face one. Well, I honestly don't know what to expect. Well, but I do know that I will have to get up early from tomorrow because uh, the classes start at 9. I haven't got up that early for for months. I hope I will not be late for my online class tomorrow. I will definitely make a vlog during the week just to share with you guys what the online classes are like and how I feel about it. So that's a wrap for this week's vlog. I will see you guys in the next one.